Uh, hello there and welcome to my uh, second 3D tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to do this. This. Um, see, I have a gun in the uh, my screen, and I have a bunch of objects that are not the main walls. Um, they are sprites that are standing up that are always facing me which is pretty handy, making it look basically like a 3D object, which is really handy for a lot of the time. Now, when I click, I shoot a bullet, and when it hits the vase, then it breaks. And then I can shoot past it. So you're going to learn how to do this. Really handy little stunt. Alrighty. So first um now this is kind of just building on the last 3D tutorial i had so you're going to want to watch that to figure out how to make the room and everything now this is the vase sprite and this is the broken vase sprite they have to be two separate sprites now this is the bullet sprite it has to be just a simple little dot in the center and then the gun sprite which is a really big sprite it's basically just a gun now um, now for the object vase, this is um, that the weird thing. Now create. Um, we need to make it give it a texture. So text that's a variable. Make it a variable. Equals sprite get texture vase sprite with a submidge of zero. Oh, and then stop bullet equals one. Um, we'll talk about that later. So now I'll um, uh, draw. D3, um, D3D draw wall. Now, this is a bunch of code. Um, well, yeah, it's kind of complicated. This is so that it'll face you at all times. So, that, um, so X minus 7, and except for weird symbol, global dot Kesman. Now, that's kind of annoying. So, in object cam, you have to create, um, you have to add those variables in. So, um, global dot kesman equals sin direction pi slash 180. And then same with camp codes. And then you have to do that at end step too. That way it keeps doing it. So, back here. So then you have to make it so that when um, the, that the spray that what it looks like is text. That's the texture. And one one. So you're gonna want to copy this code by downloading it. So then when you collision with the bullet, if stop b is equal to one, so stop bullet, meaning that it's standing up, then text equals sprite get texture vase broke. Image index. Oh, that doesn't have to be there. So just make that zero, and stop B equals zero. That way, um, you can have you can shoot past the vase, so that um, the vase doesn't keep stopping you, even though it's already broken. And you want to destroy the bullet. That way, it doesn't just keep breaking other vases behind it. And set alarm zero to uh, um, one twenty. That way, it um, it can stand back up again. So you reset it. There we go, that's perfect. Now the bullet, pretty easy. You just um, create set direction, um, object cam dot direction, speed 10. And then horizontal wall destroyed, vertical wall destroy. And then draw, kind of the same as the other one, and, um, except for you can just draw it here. So text equals sprite your texture. B sprite, and then same with all of this. And then now gun. Now here's a really handy feature that you're going to want to use later a lot um, for making really cool stuff on top, because if you don't want everything to be in 3D, here's something to make it over top of 3D. So draw D3D set projection ortho. This is what will make it on top. 0, 0, and then width and height of your room, and then 0 again. D, D3D set hidden, false, otherwise it'd be black. And draw set sprite, gun sprite, 
and um, all that. D3D said hit true again. That way everything else won't be like that. And then um, you have to set the depth to like minus a lot of numbers. So I made it minus 1,000. That way it's below everything. That's really handy. Um, yeah, and then object cam. Simply global left press, um, create intents of bullets. There we go. So then you just stick a bunch of vases in your room, uh, including your um, guy, main guy. And then you play the game. So, well, since it isn't loading any ex external models, then it actually doesn't take that long. Okay. So, there we go. Now when I shoot the vases, it destroys them. Well, makes it broken. And then after a little while, they're fixed again. I just shot those. Oh, now they're fixed. Ha ha. And after I shoot them, I can still keep shooting past them. There we go. So yeah, you can download this so that um, you can figure out all the code and use this. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Goodbye.